Hey guys, it's Harley Wood here. Today I want to talk to you about something I mentioned in one of my other videos some people have been asking about. Um, I recently did a video on the Sawyer Mini Filter. Um, and Sawyer claimed that this can filter 100,000 gallons of water. Um, I put it to a little taste test, did great, um, so no complaints there. But in that video I mentioned that I had a system similar to the Berkey drip filter system. So I want to show you that today. Um, it's really cheap to put together, in fact. I think I did all of this for less than $50. You start with two uh, five-gallon buckets. These are food-grade buckets. Um, don't necessarily know that you need to use food-grade buckets, so if you want to save a couple extra dollars, just do Home Depot, Lowe's, buckets, something like that. It'll work just the same. Where you're going to spend the most of your money is on these two filters. Um, you don't have to buy two, you can buy one, or you can do a setup with three or four inside of here. These run, and I'll post a link below where you can buy them. Um, you can get them on Amazon and a couple other places for anywhere from $15 on up to $80 to $100, uh, depending on how many gallons you want them to filter. Each of these can filter, I believe, 2,500 to 2,600 gallons of water. Um, so what I did was I started by drilling holes in the bottom of the bucket and I tap these through they come with this hardware so it's it's threaded with this nipple here and you place it through the hole that you drilled and then you just tighten on this nut here and it, it tightens the filter down to the bottom of the bucket then you take the lid from one of them you place it before you actually put the filters in you drill your holes and then you you take a marker and you you dab little dots onto the lid below so you can see exactly where it lines up. And then when you put your filters in, let's get them lined up here if I can find the holes. These will line up perfectly through the holes. So then what you do is you take this setup, you put it on top of another bucket, and you fill your top bucket with your dirty water. Um, these drip very, very slowly. I think it might do about a liter or two per hour. Um, so if you fill this whole thing up, it'll take a couple hours to drain the whole thing down. Um, but you do it before you go to bed. Next morning you wake up and your bottom bucket will be full of five gallons of completely purified water. Um, some people, and I am one of them, will then tap the bottom bucket with one of these kind of coffee dispenser uh, spigots. So in my bottom bucket, I tapped a hole here, and you then thread this into that hole. Now I have it removed for storage, but you thread this into that hole, and then you can dispense your water from the bottom bucket. Makes it a little bit easier. Um, while I have these in storage, though, I just take some tape and I put it over the holes here, as well as the holes in the top of this bucket. And the nice thing is, is that it all stores away pretty easily. So this is the one with the filters in it. Put it inside of your empty one. Take your lid with the holes, put it on first. And if you want, grab yourself another lid without holes so that you can keep that bottom bucket clean once you get it cleaned out. Um, and it all stores away in one nice little, little system here. So not too bad. I think it, all in all I spent... 50 maybe $60 uh, once we bought the various hardware and things like that. Um, and I'll place links to where to buy these filters in, in the notes below. Thanks for watching.